Hi guys, Andy here. I've got a bit of a different battery test that I've devised. So in the past I used to basically play a video, play it twice with um, the screen brightness set to full and then the screen brightness set to minimum. But uh, I have had some comments of people saying, no, set the screen brightness so they're all the same. Now, that's only been possible recently because I've got a light meter. So I thought, okay, well, let's let's redo my battery tests using that sort of theory. So the first thing I needed to do was turn off auto brightness on each of these three devices, um, which you may have noticed is the Redmi Note 3 by Xiaomi, the Note 5 by Samsung, and the Le TV Le One S by Le TV. So then, I mean, you can't get them all precisely exactly the same, but I'm shooting for about 300 lux on each device. Um, they're all charged up to 100 after the kind of the calibration, should we call it. And then, as I would in my previous one, I thought, well, I'll still use my uh, my beginner's guide video. It's a 37-minute long video, quite nice and long. Um, so set all the devices. I turn the volume down just because it will drive me nuts otherwise. And off they go. They're all connected to Wi-Fi. They're all pretty much set up as, as one of my devices. I could have made it more scientific by sort of factory resetting and then just doing it from a blank. But to be honest, that makes it quite tricky for me. Um, and I wouldn't really be able to do it in, in a lot of cases. So here's the video coming to an end. So that's like I said, it's a 37 minute and maybe 20 something seconds. Uh, the first part done. And then the next element, something new, um, I decided to do sort of a, an auto web page loading for 22 minutes to round out the hour. You can see there, basically it reloads Twitter every 30 seconds. Each one is logged in as me, and every 30 seconds it reloads. Now, full disclosure, I forgot to put uh, the screen timer off, so for about six minutes the screen's turned off. Um, so I might redo the test just to get the actual true result that I can compare to other devices. But for the purpose of this matchup, it was fine. And so the uh, we see there the Redmi Note 3 was on 90%, the Galaxy Note 5 is on 92%, and the Le TV is on 86%. So a bit of a surprise that the 3000 milliamp hour Note 5 beat out the 4000 milliamp hour Redmi Note 3. I was quite surprised by that, but then at the same time, I've not been getting good battery life from the uh, from the Xiaomi. A little bit weird, but it may maybe it's me. Maybe I've got a dodgy ROM, or I don't know what it might be. But there you go, so the Note 5 wins another battery test. The Red Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 comes in second, and the Le TV Le 1S comes in third. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.